concept of longitudinal static instability is implemented on the Su-27. To a large extent, this concept is an evidence of the aircraft high maneuverability. Let's have a closer look at this concept. An aircraft, like any physical object, has a center of gravity. Relative to this center point, an aircraft in the air behaves as a peculiar swing. There is another point, the point of aerodynamic center. When the center of gravity is in front of the aerodynamic center, the aircraft is statically stable. Suppose that in flight, such an aircraft experiences external disturbance. It can be a wind blast trying to lift an aircraft nose up. It creates a lift increment at the other side of the swing in the point of aerodynamic center. This lift force tries to push an aircraft to its original position. This is happening without any actions from the pilot. Therefore, stability is the capability of an aircraft to restore its flight mode by itself after it is affected by disturbance. Such ability is very helpful when it comes to trainer aircraft. A stable aircraft itself can correct mistakes of a novice pilot. The Su-27 is statically unstable. It means that its aerodynamic center is in front of the aircraft's center of gravity. In this case, a lift increment doesn't prevent an angle of attack from increasing. Specialists call it loss reduction for the aircraft balance. Practically, it means that an aircraft is more stable when it comes to combat maneuvering modes. On the other hand, to control such unstable aircraft manually is quite challenging. On a statically unstable aircraft, a pilot has to make a double movement. He has first to increase an angle of attack and then to balance the aircraft. Not to mention the fact that any disturbance of an airflow will continuously take the aircraft away from the balancing point. It means that he has to catch it all the time, especially at high rams, and the fighter ram is 10,000. That's a disaster. A pilot can easily lose the aircraft and go to a destructive G-load. Strange as it is, Brothers Wright Airplane, for example, was statically unstable. They had to balance it manually all the time. Generally speaking, it was impossible to fly this airplane in a standard way. Flying it was a kind of circus art. The subsequent airplanes were designed stable so that the pilot wouldn't have to care about this process. Here we again returned to this idea of instability, when automatics, control system, hydraulic drives, hydraulic system, give a pilot better control to his unstable aircraft. The system which helps to control an aircraft is called fly-by-wire system.